Hello, I'm Claire and today I'm going to show you all the things I bought in London, which are a lot, so let's get started. One of the first things I bought was this hat from Primark, which is lovely and was like £9, I guess, and it makes me look all dramatic and... <sighs> then in Camden, for £5, I bought this lovely flower crown that you saw in my vlog. If you didn't watch that, there it is. Click here. Click, click, click. And it's just lovely. You put it on and you feel so princessy and pretty and yay. Then I bought this in Boots, which is Zola Kissy Missy Lip Balm, which is really lovely. I mean, it smells amazingly. It's like flowery, I think. I, I don't really know. And it feels good on the lips, so yay. And this was $3.99, I think. I went to Forbidden Planet, but in 2013 I bought all that I could ever want from that place. So this time I just bought a River Song screwdriver, which does this thing and nothing else, I guess. You can remove this part, but I don't really know if it works. There's a button here, so, but it doesn't do anything. This was £9 from Forbidden Planet. I also bought this from my dad, which is a huge Star Trek fan, and this lights up. Hi! It's really cute, yeah. And this was £8. From HMV I got the Pride DVD, which is an amazing film, and I urge you to watch it because ah, I watched it already twice, and it's amazing. It's really a powerful film. And this was seven pounds, I guess. Yeah, this was seven pounds. And then for fifteen pounds, I bought these two together. This is James Bay, and this is Fall Out Boy. Like really the same type of music, yeah, I know. <laughs> But they were cheap because in Italy you can get like this one for 15 euros. So, yeah, 15 pounds are like 20 euros. So, yeah, together. Nice, nice. Yeah. And I went a bit crazy in Waterstones. What do you expect from me, to be honest? I got these two sticky notes things. One says note to self and things you can write in here. And this one says please and other stuff you can think. And I got this one because it says, like me, and I just want like to give it to people and be like, who oh, you're pretty, and put it on like their forehead and stuff. I will never do that. But yeah, and these were three and three pounds. Then I bought this kind of diary that I saw Emma Blackery bought and like said something on Twitter about this. And the concept is one line a day, so basically, there's one page, like January 1st, and there's 2000, and you have to put 2016, 17, blah blah blah. And on that day, you have to write something, and I don't know, a quote or something you learned, but like one line, and that's it. And the year after, you come back and you can read what you wrote the year before. Like, it's a really weird concept, and I loved it, and I saw it, and went, <gasps> yes, I have to have it. And this was around 12 pounds, but it's really, really pretty, so yeah deserves it. Then I got All My Friends Are Superheroes by Andrew Kaufman, which was recommended by Carrie Fletcher like everywhere, and I wanted to read it since she talked about it because I've only found a little part of it, like the start online, and it really intrigued me, so yes, I wanted to read it. Then I got Connor Pranta's A Work in Progress. I wanted to buy his book, but online it was a little too much for me, so I got it from Waterstones for around 10 pounds. I haven't read it yet, but it looks great. I mean, I've gone through the pages and there are so many pictures which are lovely. And the last book I bought was I Give You the Sun, which I found the cover on Tumblr and I said, oh my god, that's so pretty. Then I read what it is about and I was like, shit, that's amazing. So I wanted to buy it ever since and I did. And it costed $7.99, so not much. And... I don't really know what to expect from this book because I've only read what's like the, the summary and it seems interesting so I'll maybe let you know if you're interested in knowing what this is about or if you read it please tell me if it's good or like if I'm disappointed and I have to throw it away like right now. I hope not because I will have wasted a pound. Then I went to TT. I got this lovely bag from the Lolo and it's really cute, I love it so much. And he has the little other written on here, and she signed it for me here, yay! But I really have to wash it, because on the first day my two bags 
broke. So I was like, please give me a bag. And I saw Dolly's merch. I was like, yes, I'm getting that. Because I saw that online. I was like, yeah, I want to get it someday. But like shipping costs and stuff were a little too much again. Poor. So I said, yeah, let's get it this time. And this was 10 pounds. But like, it does its job. It holds stuff. So yeah. And it's a universe merch. So yeah, that. Then I got two t-shirts, one is Jack and Dean's and the other one is Evan Edinger's and the material is amazing, they were £15 each From the National Gallery I got these two bookmarks which are magnetic and they are for my mum I had to get this one ah, This was £4.50 and the magnets were two together From Camden I got this lovely bag which is fake leather and it seems small but it isn't and this was 15 pounds from Primark I've also got these trousers which are high waisted and I can't find them in Italy so I had to buy them yeah that's it basically yeah so thank you so much for watching see you tomorrow with another video bye